how do you get even more film look straight out of camera? What's up everyone, it's another rainy day here in Sweden and what better way to spend a rainy day than online looking for some cheap lenses. Now speaking of film look and getting more and more of that film look in camera, there's actually one thing that I highly encourage you to try. Now apart from using film simulation, which is pretty obvious one, is by actually using film camera lenses on your camera, which actually makes a lot of sense. And you don't have to be an expert or spend lots of money in order for you to start experimenting with these types of lenses. For some around 30 to $50, you will usually find a cheap lens along with a lens adapter on places like eBay. And the good thing about eBay is that most sellers usually list the mount type along with the other information about that lens, making it very, very easy for you to pick up the correct adapter for your lens and your camera body. But before you head out on eBay, make sure to check around with friends or family because there might be some of these lenses that you can have for free sitting in a box somewhere that haven't been used since, I don't know, 1989 or something. So don't forget to check around with your friends and family before you spend money on eBay. Now, if you need some help to get started, I'm gonna put a couple of links down in the description to some of my favorite affordable lenses along with some lens adapters that I've used in the past or that I'm using presently. So yeah, check those links out after the video. But there's obviously a huge problem with these lenses. Well, to be honest, it's not. But I know a lot of people kind of gets discouraged about the whole manual focus aspect. But to tell you the truth, it's not as difficult as it may sound. These lenses are, in contrast to modern autofocus lenses, mechanical and you have a completely different control and feel on the focus wheel. Just like cinema lenses, these old vintage primes and zoom lenses have a much, much longer focus throw, making it so much easier to nail that critical focus. And the difference here between these and modern day autofocus lenses is also that these are 100% mechanical. There's no motors or other things that might kind of disengage you from the feeling of turning the focus ring. And that's actually one of the reasons why you oftentimes find cine lenses in photography studios, especially among photographers doing a lot of product photography where you really need to nail that critical focus. But even if you would miss focus by a tiny bit, it's still gonna look great in most cases. That character, that behavior and that little magic is what makes these lenses so much fun to play around with and why they usually give you that extra layer of film look straight out of camera. I hope that you've enjoyed some of the sample footage I've shown you in this video and some of the B-roll of the different lens adapters. And I highly <laughs> encourage you to check out the links in the description for those affordable lens options and adapters just to get you going because I know, I know that once you try this along with some film simulations, you're probably gonna get bit and you're gonna have so much fun going out to shoot, portraits, landscapes, what have you, because it's just such a fun combination to use film simulations with these old film camera lenses. Now, I want to thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video where we'll take a look at something else interesting and fun. Until then, see you and goodbye.